This video is brought to you by Card Empire. If you're looking for Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, or Magic of the Gathering, this is the place to be. Oh, what's up, people? Dobbs Rules is right here, and welcome to the final Yu-Gi-Oh pack opening of the month. And then, of course, we'll be moving on to Pokemon. But before we start, please check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport, and Liverpool. And today. As what Austin Powers is one of his biggest villains in all Austin Powers' world. No, not Dr. Evil, but Gold Member. I love gold. Yes, we're opening up finally a new gold set. Maximum gold. This is what I've been waiting for for many years. Since the last time they opened up a, a, a gold set, which I think was infinite gold... A lot of people started to get really sceptical with gold cards because they went down in value super quick. So Konami, of course, said, we're not making them any more gold cards. And then, of course, when people were starting to slag them off that they hated the gold cards, they wanted the man back. So luckily, they thought, okay then, but if you slag off this set, like you did with the last one, they've already said they won't make it ever again. So if this succeeds... And doesn't get slagged off by many fans of Yu-Gi-Oh. They may make another set. But like they said, if it gets if it gets you know ripped, got you know, got Ted a new one by the fans, even though the cards in it are super good and sometimes they're quite expensive, they won't make gold series ever, ever, ever again. So, for the fans, if you guys want to see new sets and having new prints and new rarities and everything. Don't slag off Konami, because if you do, they won't make cards like these ever again. And I'm luckily that I still have my premium pack, my premium premium gold boxes still sealed and never got opened because people are paying stupid money for them nowadays. But anyhow, we've got four packs of it, which is awesome. There is 110 gold lettered rare cards, which of course they're normal rare cards, but you have 52 premium gold rare cards, which are two in a pack, which you guys know. There's seven cards in a pack and their first edition. These are the why these are going to be quite expensive in a few years' time. I bought one that's in mint condition and I put it in a plastic case and put it locked away. Because I know that these will become quite expensive in the near future. <gasps> With that being said, let's crack open and let's see what we can pull. Now what I do know in this set is the most expensive card I've heard is the gold rare. You know, you know, the premium gold rare. Blue Eyes, White Dragon. If we pull that, we've got the best card in the set. That means we don't need to open up any more of them, which is I'm happy with. But let's see what we can get. We've got number 87, Queen of the Night. I am not putting a price on these cards, just the um, just the premium gold card. We've got Mecha Phantom Beast, Cult Wing. We've got Transco Talker. We've got Mind Control, which is nice. We've got Lost One Turn, or Lose One Turn. Nah, oh wow, that gold looks nice. They remind me of the old classic gold plaques that you used to get back in like 2004. Remember the old gold plaques that you had from Pokemon, like the Charizard and the Pikachu? These look nice. We've got Herald of the, uh, of the Arclight, gold. And Super Polymerization, that's nice. That's really nice, that's a good card. Hopefully the price is on under the screen as I'm editing this. Tell you what though, I'm happy that they brought back the gold rare set. But these look way nicer than the old sets, to be honest. They have more texture, so that's really good. Um, I'm going to put the rare ones to the side, because these are the cards that we want to have. These cards. Second pack, let's see what we can get. We've got Starlight Junction. Junction. We've got Noble Knight Brothers. Gear Giant X. Dark Lord Rebellion. Uh, Super Dismotional Re Robot Galaxy Destroyer. That's a mouthful. <laughs> and we got Stardust Charge Warrior Gold. That's nice. And. Soul of Judgment! Yes! 
There we go, a classic card. Everybody knows Solomon Judgment. It's the best card in the game. Everybody uses it in their decks when they're going to tournaments. It's super valuable. Hopefully this has some value as a gold card. That's nice. It looks really nice as gold, with a gold border and everything. That is nice, indeed. Whew! So nice, we've got Super Polymerization and a Solemn Judgment gold card. The Stardust is nice and the Herald is nice, but I think the most pricey ones there is definitely the Super Polymerization and the Solemn Judgment. Third pack. We only got one pack after this. Let's see what we can get. we got number C107, the Neo Galaxy Eye Tachyon Dragon. We got the Madalush Chatter. I don't know how you pronounce that. We got Speedroid Red Eyed Dice. There can be only one. What is this? Game of Thrones. We got Dragon Lord of Dark World. We got Cosmo Town Gold. What's the next one? Number S39 Utopia the Lightning. Ugh. That's one thing I don't want. I don't want Utopias because they are so overrated. But people say they love them, but they don't buy them for some weird reason. Okay, final pack. Can we pull that Blue Eyes? A Blue Eyes, a Dark Magician. I think there's a Red Eyes in this set as well, which would be nice. But the one we want is 100%. That blue eyes. It's the most expensive card in the set. We've got number 107, Galaxy Eye Tachyon Dragon. We've got Mecha Photon Beast uh, Draco's Sack. Noble Knight of the Round Table. Command Witch. Barrier Statue of the Abyss. Elbert Hill Stratos Alternate Artwork. That's good. But sadly, again, Konami, once again, with their banned cards, this card is Banned. Which still annoys me because it's such a great card, but I think that's the reason why it's got banned. But nice, an alternate artwork of Stratos, that's really good. And for the final gold card. Oh! Bow of the Goddess. I've not seen this card before. No idea how much it's worth, but wow, that shine is nice. These are really nice. To be honest, this is like the best looking gold rare cards I've seen in a couple of years now. Because last year they didn't make any gold sets. But the year before they had pre the um, Infinity Gold and Premium, Premium Gold 2. And then before that there was one. But then you had like the actual gold edition series which were nice. But these have been so much improved. It's ridiculous. Damn that is nice. Now, pretty much, I think the most expensive card here I, that I pulled has to definitely be, be between Super Polymerization, Solon Judgment, or Stratos. That's in my eyes. I might be completely wrong, and it could be maybe Utopia, or Stardust, or that Bow of the Goddess. We do not know. But either way, that is awesome, to be honest. I'm definitely looking forward to opening more, more of them up in the near future. But for now, it has to be paused for the time being. <laughs> Anyhow. If you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. And make sure you check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport and Liverpool. With that being said, the people I'm still going to see you guys for subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! I can't believe it. They finally got an alternate artwork of Stratos. Let's hope they do an actual alternate artwork for Solemn Judgment or Super Polymerization. That would be epic. One that people like using it for grass. We got our reverse foil, uh, Sterny. Oh my god! Secret Red Nest Ball! Oh my goodness! I thought that was the Ultra Ball for a second, but it ain't, it's the Nest Ball! Oh, wait, wait a minute. It wasn't for the. Uh, did I do. Oh! 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 Oh my god!